Howdy folks, Moose here. Well, with all the updates in Adobe and Lightroom, I've had a lot of people again ask me about my workflow. Uh, I still use Photo Mechanic. Uh, I have never was a, a Lightroom user. Uh, main reason was speed. But of course, also the way in which I work images and file images, think about the business of photography and having to take care of my clients. Photo Mechanic, like so many other photographers, is our a damn program of preference, Dan being digital asset management. Now, first and foremost, Photo Mechanic does not process raw files. It's not what it's meant to do. It's partly why it's so fast. Now, many people have asked about how I get all the speed, and I thought, rather than doing a bunch of screen captures, I would create a video. So, for example, uh, Command-G on the Mac brings up the ingest panel, and here you can see my settings. My idea being that if you want to mimic them, you could simply pause the video, Open up Photo Mechanic and you can look at what I have, what you have, see if perhaps some of this might speed things up. The other part of this is, of course, under the preferences. Let me just go through the different preferences. And again, just pause the video if you want to sit there and mimic what I've got. Now understand that these settings uh, come from using Photo Mechanic for a long time. Uh, it has been my uh, digital asset management program uh, on the Mac forever and uh, since day one with the Mac. It's just fast, it's convenient, it's constantly being updated. Uh, it depends on what you do. Let's say you're right now a sports photographer shooting football. You can actually buy for a couple of pennies uh, a, a whole plug-in that goes into Photo Mechanic that has all the NFL players by numbers and teams. So when it comes to doing your captioning, it just goes boom. You're, you're just in there, done. It's pretty amazing. Um, and it, it allows you to do a lot of basic stuff when it comes to simple organizing and finding your photographs. And that basic stuff is why I find it so incredibly um, useful and fast, because like I've always said, I want to be behind the camera, not behind the computer. And that is just what I you know happen to do. Now, here is uh, the basic uh, light table view. And if I want to look at a photograph, I simply just double click on it. And there it is. Now, I got this clean view by just hitting the F key. So that takes you, you know, you want to see the information, fine, fine. I just want to see the picture. And then when it comes to processing, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I hit Command E. That takes me right into Adobe Camera Raw, where I can sit there and, you know, hit my presets, do my quick finishing, uh, and I'm out. I'm in Photoshop. Now, the key to this whole thing for me is afterwards, I'm using Bridge to deal with all my finished images. And why do I use Bridge? Because I can double click on a file and it opens up in Photoshop. I can select a bunch of them and I can sit there and quickly get them out to a client if I need to. Uh, there's just all this you know, speed and possibility for the business side of photography. So that's just a really quick like look into my workflow. But understand that Photo Mechanic is how I'm getting my images into the, into the computer and getting them numbered, filed, and save for clients. So hopefully that answers a bunch of questions and helps you with your workflow issues.